In this video, we will go through a few examples that will let us practice working with equilateral triangles. So an equilateral triangle, just to briefly review, is a triangle that has all three sides that are the same length and all three angles will also be the same measure and they'll always be 60 degree angles. So in example A, it says find the value of x and it's marked that all three sides are the same length. So this is an equilateral triangle. Now because all three sides are the same length, it means that 3x minus 1 must be equal to 11 because they're both sides of the triangle. So we can set up an equation, 3x minus 1 equals 11, and solve that equation in order to solve for x. So if we add 1 to both sides, we get 3x equals 12. So once we divide by 3, we end up with x equals 4 which is just what the problem was asking. All right, let's go to example B. Find the values of x and y. So in this example, it's marked that two sides are the same length. So that means that this triangle is actually an isosceles triangle, which has two sides the same length, and two angles, the base angles, are also the same measure. So first, let's solve for y. Because those two sides are the same length, we can solve for y by setting up an equation. 5y minus 1 has to equal 2y plus 11, because each of those sides are the same length. So let's solve this equation. I'm going to first add 1 to both sides, and then I have 5y equals 2y plus 12. Next, I'm going to minus 2y from both sides, and then I'll have 3y equals 12, which means that y equals 4. So I have one answer so far, that y equals 4. Now to solve for x, we're going to have to do a little bit more work. I already said before that these angles have to be congruent because they're base angles of an isosceles triangle, and they're opposite from the congruent sides. So that means that this angle over here also has to be 2x plus 5 degrees. So now we actually know all three angles in the triangle, 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, and 3x minus 5. And we know that all three of those have to add up to 180 degrees. So we can set up an equation that 3x minus 5 plus 2x plus 5 plus 2x plus 5 again has to equal 180 degrees. And solve this by combining like terms and doing normal algebra. So 3x, 2x, and 2x will be 7x. And then when you combine the minus 5, plus 5, and plus 5, you get plus 5 equals 180 degrees. Keep going, minus 5 from both sides and you get 7x equals 175, which means that x equals 25. So now we have our second answer. All right, let's go to example C. Two sides of an equilateral triangle are 2x plus 5 units and x plus 13 units. How long is each side of this triangle? So if it's an equilateral triangle, that means that all three sides are the same length. And we know that one side is marked as 2x plus 5, and another side is marked as x plus 13. But because all three sides are the same length, it means that 2x plus 5 must equal x plus 13. So we can make this equation and then solve it in order to solve for x, and then we'll be able to find how long the sides are for the triangle. So first I'm going to minus 5 from both sides and get 2x equals x plus 8, then minus x, and I get x equals 8. Now if x equals 8, that means each side is going to be 8 plus 13, or 2 times 8 plus 5. Basically at this point we want to substitute our answer for x into the x in either side. So if x equals 8, it means that one of the sides, this side, has to be 8 plus 13, 
which is 21. We should get the same answer if we plug in 8 over here into the second expression because all three sides are supposed to be the same. But let's just double check. 2 times 8 plus 5 is 16 plus 5, which is 21. Good, so that means that each side of the triangle must be 21 units.